Okay. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, y'all. How y'all doing out there? I hope you're doing okay. Um, this news right here is very sad for me to report. And it comes out of, um, you know, this story that I believe it happened over the summer, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but the, the Mayweather household can't be very happy today. Um, but you know, uh, you do the crime, you got to do the time. And I guess this generation, um, have a hard time dealing with that absolute fact. You know, this young lady is only 21 years old. Anyway, Floyd Mayweather's daughter, Yaya, facing 21, 20 years in prison for alleged stabbing. Floyd Mayweather's daughter, Yaya, Ayana is facing some severe legal punishment for her involvement in an alleged stabbing. Yaya was arrested on April 4th, my birthday, by the way, 2020, after an alleged incident involving her ex, her boyfriend's ex-girlfriend. Her boyfriend's ex-girlfriend, right? Yaya's boyfriend is rapper Youngboy, who also has a child with his ex-girlfriend. Lepatra Jacobs. Yaya was at Young Boy's Houston area home when Jacobs showed up the night of the alleged incident. Now, according to TMZ's original story, the two women reportedly had an argument. Jacobs told Mayweather to leave, while Mayweather allegedly responded by saying she was Young Boy's fiance and that Jacobs should leave. You know, this is this young people. See, sometimes you're just too young to be engaging in this kind of behavior. Um, and this is the, to me, the repercussions of it. Y'all, they should be trying to. Uh, they babies. They babies. Anyway, nobody want to hear that, but just do some research about how long um, it takes the brain to develop. The two ended up getting into a fight in the kitchen with Mayweather allegedly charging at Jacobs with two knives and stabbing her. Mayweather allegedly said the altercation began when Jacobs pulled her hair and ran into the kitchen. Young boy supposedly was handcuffed, but later released. Now, where was he at during the damn stabbing? I'm trying to figure this out. Yaya has a pretrial hearing, and that's scheduled for... February 2022, she is being charged with felony aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. Such a crime is generally categorized as a second degree matter and punishable by fines up to $10,000 and a prison sentence of up to 20 years in Texas. And that's where the issue situation happened at. Under certain circumstances, such a crime can be charged as a first-degree felony assault, which carries a more severe punishment. Now, in January, Yaya and Young Boy welcome their first child. So, uh, congratulations, by the way, Floyd. You a, a grandpa, huh? Uh, So, the baby is almost a year old, looks like, and looks like, um, wow, it looks like this girl might have to leave her baby and go to jail. I would, I, you know, they got money, so that possibly will keep her out of having to face anything serious, um, but we'll see, um. But the, the, the next story I, I wanted to uh, uh, touch on real quick is that uh, there's uh, speculation is beginning to intensify that the boxing legend Mike Tyson could meet the YouTuber Paul Logan. Logan Paul, I'm sorry, in the ring. Tyson needs absolutely no introduction to fight fans. What they will want to clarify is why is he being mentioned in the same sentence as one of the Paul brothers? Logan, who began um, his professional boxing career against fellow uh, social media star KSI, 
went on to meet Floyd Mayweather in a no winner declared exhibition bout. How could he, how could, he, I mean, he could now be set for another with the sun uh, reporting Tyson could be set to fight again for the second time since his comeback in the ring. Uh, I don't know y'all, what y'all think about that? The report claims that Paul Logan is being uh, lined up as a possible opponent for the all-time boxing great, with YouTube uh, news reporter Keemstar also suggesting that the fight is on. They saying it's on. Now, uh, Tyson is 55 years old, is reportedly uh, set to step through the ropes against 26-year-old in a physical peak condition, and it's a very different proposition than fighting Roy Jones Sr. I mean, Junior. Uh, though you'd like to think that Logan wouldn't lay a glove on Tyson, he is essentially an old man now. And you have to question why he'd even bother getting dragged into this nonsense. Okay, what y'all think? Y'all think uh, Mike Tyson should even mess around with this Logan Paul fight? I mean... <laughs> I mean, come on. If you you know, sometimes if you just miss getting hit, just go spur. Um, you know, sometimes but fame isn't a, isn't a, a drug and it's addiction in itself. And I hope that's not the uh case. Um because I'm gonna tell you a story about Muhammad Ali. And um I think I'll save that for another video. Sometimes the pressure and the the um you know, the illusion of the crowd. The uh, adoration that they give you. Sometimes it's hard to let that go. And sometimes a lot of boxers make bad decisions based on that feeling. Okay, I wonder what y'all think. And then what y'all think about Yaya facing 20 years in prison. You think she should? Um, you think she, um, the girl did not die. So she was not uh, actually a murderer. But she could very well have been. And she has a child now. And uh, the thought process of her just having to, um, wow. Um, I mean, just think about that. Just, you know, be that young and the possibility of you having to not be able to stay here and raise your child. Right? So that's a hell of a, a, a situation to be in. So your baby is just barely born, just barely a year old, and you are actually facing serious prison time. What y'all think about that? Leave your comments below. I'm really interested in what you got to say about it. And also, give me your opinion about Tyson and this Logan Paul. All right. See you guys later.